Are your buyers here and your property price and vendors are there and they're not aligned? You may want to check out this episode so we can align them and you can get your property sold and start getting some offers. So what I'm finding in the marketplace right now working with some of my clients is that the buyers that they're currently working with are not aligned with the vendor's expectations. You get that, we've seen it, we've all heard it, right? But here's the thing, I really believe that you need to align the buyer psychology or behavior in this marketplace, but the vendor needs to understand what the buyer psychology looks like today. So I say there are five rules around buyer psychology, and I wanna walk you through each one of them. So let's just call it buyer uh, psychology. Hope my English is good and I spelt this right. But there are five rules, right? So, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, if you can understand there are five rules around buyer psychology and we can align that, we're gonna hit the sweet spot, we're gonna to start to generate offers which will get you top dollar for your home and you'll feel good about it. And you wanna feel good about it, don't you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller? Yeah, of course you do. So, rule number one, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, is simple, is their behavior, they will automatically add 10% to the price guide, automatically. Why? Because, if you've seen one of my previous videos around the property clock, we were in a rising sales market between 2014 all the way up through to 2016. And then we hit that peak market in 2017, right? We all know about that one. But they've been conditioned just to add 10% onto the price guide. So if your price guide is just call it 850, automatically they're thinking you want somewhere around 950, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. So number one, rule number two is they will, with the 10% price guide added, Okay, they're gonna see all the recent sales that have occurred in the last three to six months and they'll be comparing it with what's recently sold on the market with your 10% price guide added on top. Number three, rule number three, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, is they will also add 10% and seeing what other properties are you are competing against. Let's understand this. Your property is not in isolation, it's in competition. So all we're doing, if we're not aligned with buyer psychology, all we're doing is pushing those buyers to everyone else's listing and property and not yours. So we wanna make sure that we've got that correct. Number four, you know it and I know it. Buyers will do one of two things. They'll either include your property on their shopping list for the Saturday or they're gonna exclude it. And if your buyer psychology is not aligned with the price and the market conditions, unfortunately, they're gonna exclude. So we wanna make sure that they're either gonna include, not exclude, yeah? And here's the fifth one, really simple. The last one, buyers start logically and then move emotionally. Meaning like when I'm on my computer and I'm on realestate.com or domain.com.au, I'm starting at a logical place, meaning that I've got a budget in my mind and at the end of the day, what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna look, and if it's priced too high compared to everything else on the market, and I've been looking for the last maybe two months or three months, I won't even come and have a look at it. But if I've got an attractive price guide that's aligned with the buyer psychology and buyer behavior in the marketplace today, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, what we're gonna do is get them to come through your home. Once they come through, they're gonna fall in love with that beautiful back garden that leads onto that gorgeous waterfall pool that you have in the garden. And the kids are gonna be jumping on the trampoline that they see outside. And all of a sudden, they've gone from logical to emotional. And you know and I know that, emotion drives behavior. And then they're gonna be really interested in purchasing your home. It's almost like, I tell this to a lot of my clients, um, if you had a, a wedding to go this weekend and you had to go and buy, let's just talking, say I'm talking to Mrs. Seller, you needed to go and buy a dress and you had a budget of just say $500 to buy this dress for a wedding you, this weekend. You go to David Jones, you pick up a dress, first thing you look at apart from the size is what? You look at price. Let's just say this dress was $699, $200 above your budget that you were prepared to spend. You put it on in the change room. As you know, when you step out of that change room, there's a big mirror. There's a reason why it's big, because it wants to show how good you look in that dress. And as you put it on, you look outside into the mirror, you're going, wow, that looks amazing. It looks hot, it looks sexy. And the $200, you just ignore. You end up paying $699. And that's where all the buying is done, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. We need to get the buyers through, let them fall in love with it, let them compete. And that's how you're gonna get 
top dollar for your home if we're aligned with the five rules of the buyer psychology in the marketplace today. Remember guys, ideas mean nothing without your execution. Are you... Sh <laughs> I love it when you put... I don't like being put on the spot like that, okay? <laughs> okay.